Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today on Customer States, what? Customer States, my ABS and track light is on. Please check and advise. I won't say no more. We know the vehicle. We've just serviced the vehicle. We did a lot. We did full power steering rebuild. We replaced the power steering rack and we also replaced power steering lines. You can see a little bit of one of the new line here. And this is a new line right here as well. So, now, we did confirm that the light is on on a road test. And we scanned the vehicle right here. And we have a circuit right rear speed sensor. So let's take it up top and uh, let's see what's going on with that sensor. So now that we are at the right rear wheel, we could see that the pins inside here are okay. The harness side is okay. Now what's happening, now what's happening is, see all this right here, all this flavor and those layers of freaking rust? Well, that rust is between the housing and the sensor and it's actually pushing out the sensor. If you could tell, this is actually not straight anymore. So what we're gonna try and do is, we're gonna try and get this nut off, diggity. And uh, hopefully, since it's already starting to push out, we might be able to get the sensor out. Needle scale all this, yeah, see? Needle scale all this rust out and uh, install a new sensor. I'm not gonna risk uh, reusing this because eight out of 10 times that sensor is gonna break on the way out and then if it really escalates, we're gonna have to take the whole axle assembly out of the rear diff so we could push out the busted sensor out. Let's hope uh, we don't have to get to that point. All right, guys, we needle scaled some of the rust out, and as you can see here, we have about a freaking quarter inch of gugats in between the housing and the sensor. That is crazy, man. Yeah, and I think you could see a little better how curved the sensor actually is. I may have to put a little bit of heat on that nut. Let's see what we gotta do. We have a new sensor, so I really don't care if I burn the sensor out. I'm more worried about breaking that stud. Thank God. Oh, that's good. That is good. Oh, the whole stud came out. That's even better. I'll take that. I don't care. That's an absolute win right there. Dude, no way. Oh no, it broke in there. Shit. I thought I was I thought I got lucky. No freaking way. No. No way. It definitely 100% my life. Oh, oh. That's a big piece I got out. Still got another 
piece in there. Maybe I can get it with the vacuum. We'll see. All right, well, guys, the plan was to remove this whole thing and take the sensor out this way. But when I went to crack this bleeder free, it wouldn't crack free. I gave some heat to it, it still wouldn't crack free. So, things escalated a little further to the point where I got my Dremel tool out. And, uh, yeah, we did a little bit of Dremel in, a little bit of picking, a little bit of drilling. And... This is the only piece that exists now, the old sensor, besides uh, this piece here. So we have our new sensor. It's all prepped and greased. We had to ream the hole a little bit. Giggity. Well, not a little bit. We had to do a good amount of job and then spray some uh, cleaner in there and then blow it out. We did that a couple of times while rotating the axle, make sure no swarf is on that ring. So yeah, uh, let's get the sensor in. Oh yeah, come on. All right, the ring's in there, good. Very good. There's our hardware. Well, we gotta find it now, it's somewhere in my cart. Well, all right, now that we have our sensor in, always double check your connector for any corrosion. All right, we're in there. Now we're gonna test operation with the scan tool. All right, guys, so we just cleared the code. We're gonna go into the ABS ECU. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some live data of the both rear sensors. Come on. Right rear wheel, left rear wheel speed. And you know what? Uh, We'll do direction of the wheels as well. Okay. Start the car up. We did do e-brake cables, guys. So I did have to take out the center console. But uh, let's shut the light off and put this car in gear. Oh, very good, very good. They are kind of close to each other. Now that'll happen here and there. We'll just give it a little... Oil gas. Might have a shoe hanging up a little bit, but they're both monitoring and they're both monitoring forward, which is good. So we'll put it in neutral. Press on the brake slowly. Very good. Put it in park. Turn the engine off. Keep it on number two. We will read trouble codes again. Nothing in there. Back up. Let's do another read just in case. Read trouble codes, no trouble codes, boom. So we repaired the car and we confirmed the repair on the lift without the road test, but we're still gonna give the car a road test. Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, it worked. Just came back from our road test. No ABS light, no track warning light. E-brake is holding, brand new e-brake lines. Both sides. Brand new steering rack, brand new power steering lines. Alignment has been formed. And it drives straight. I'm very good. If you guys don't know what to do yet, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for further content.